Welcome to the My Record News, I'm your anchor Louis Yellum, you know what they say, never late then better. Our top story today, you think that there might have been enough tart magica until now, but you know what they say, that you never be enough tart magica because we have even more tart magica, yes, there's somehow even more tart. We've had four tart events so far, but why not have a fifth, right? Why can't we just have a fifth? tart event and just be fine with that so that's what we're getting however i need to mention one thing right away i haven't uploaded in over a month why is that well simply because we've been getting reruns for over a month and i didn't want to make news videos just on reruns kind of feels like it kind of defeats the point to say hey here's the news we're getting reruns and that's the end of the video so now that we're finally getting some new thing uh, i'm actually gonna like actually start producing content again and we're gonna start off by talking about the new kind of gacha okay so this is something i need to uh spend a bunch of time explaining to you guys the step up gacha this has been uh, a new gacha that's going to be introduced with the new parallel gacha which is going to happen on the 24th and the new isabo gacha which is going to happen right now by the time you're watching this video this thing is live so what is the step up gacha? So you might have noticed that before when there was a new gacha you had this ability to have the very first 10 roll of the new gacha cost a lot less, like 30 paid gems for example. So if you had some paid gems lying around you could do the very first 10 roll for like 30 paid gems and it's gonna save you a lot of gems doing it that way. But only for the first 10 roll. But now they're saying Okay, but what if not just the first 10 roll was discounted, but the first 5 10 rolls were discounted? Oh, and that's basically what the step up uh, gacha is. So here's how it works. The very first 10 roll that you do is going to be 30 paid gems. Second one is 50 paid gems. Third one 100, and the fourth and fifth are 200 paid gems. However, it's not quite the same as, ro as rolling on the gacha normally. So if you roll on the gacha normally, then of course you're getting the pity counter. You have the pity counter that goes to 100 until you get the guaranteed magical girl if you haven't gotten a 4 star until then. But the step up gacha does not actually give you pity counter for the normal gacha that you have. So if you do the 5 steps on here and you have the 50 rolls, those 50 rolls don't go onto the 100 pity counter that you have for the gacha. So this sounds pretty terrible, right? But, and here there's a many, many buts with this kind of step-up gacha. If you've been looking around Reddit, for example, some people have been voicing some negative opinions, especially in the discords. People have been very critical about this gacha. But a lot of people are kind of missing the point of what this kind of gacha is for. So let me lay it down for you guys. This gacha is specifically for people that spend money on the game, that already spent money on the game, to give an option to basically spend a little less by getting some discounts. This is basically the entire reason for this gacha to exist. You're spending money already on the game to roll with paid gems. Here's a discount for you. If you're someone who doesn't already roll with paid gems, this is not something for you, okay? Let me put this right away. If you only have paid gems for buying bags, for example, this is not for you. If you're free to play, this is not for you. This is only for people that roll with paid gems. Only for those people, okay? Get that out of the way right away because most people that I've seen complain about this gacha are people that A, are free to play or 2, only use paid gems for bags. Those are the two people that I've seen complain about this gacha. But this gacha is not for you, okay? This is, this is not for you, okay? Get, get that into your system. Moving on though, what does this get you if you're someone who actually does pay for like roles themselves? So before you had this one roll with 30 paid gems, I think it was 30 paid gems for like the entire 10 roll, which was pretty nice. But now you can extend that all the way to the five steps. So usually if you're, pay, if you're doing a 10 roll, of course it costs 250 paid gems. So if you are going to roll with paid gems anyway, you're definitely getting discounts. You're definitely getting discounts rolling uh, in the step up gacha until the five steps. 
But as I said earlier, it doesn't go into the pity counter, which it just sounds kind of bad, right? You know, it goes into the pity counter. But here's the thing. This thing has its own pity counter. If you do all five steps, you are guaranteed a four star. So you can basically view this as in, instead of having this 100 roll pity counter, you now have this 50 roll pity counter that you are guaranteed to hit. Even if you do get a four star magical girl in these 10 rolls, you are guaranteed an additional uh, ten, uh, four star magical girl after all of these 10 rolls. And you still get Mitama coins for this. So you still get Mitama coins for the regular gacha. It's 15 Mitama coins. Nice. Even if, though, however, you're not someone who is willing to go all five steps, okay? You're someone who is like, okay, all five steps, that's a lot of paid gems. Let's put this on the table. It's a lot of paid gems to do all five steps, okay? But... Even if you don't want to go all the way, you can still do two 10 rolls for a combined total of 80 paid gems, which is pretty darn cheap. It's extremely cheap to do two uh, 10 rolls for 80 paid gems, because usually two 10 rolls are 500 paid gems if you are down all of your other gems. So it, it is still nice to do 10 rolls with 80 paid gems. That's, that's pretty darn cheap, okay? That's pretty darn cheap. But if you do go further, then hopefully you're someone who's actually willing to spend a lot of money on the game. So let's bring it all back to the beginning. Who is this for? This is for people who already spend money on the game for rolls, specifically for rolls. Not just for bags, but for rolls. If you do spend money on the game for rolls, this is a really good deal. You can either be a low spender who does the first two 10 rolls for a really good discount, or you're someone who is a high spender, a whale, who does the entire five step program, which is a really good deal. And yeah, this is a really good deal if you are going all the five waves, all five steps, if you are a whale. But only if you are a whale, if you are indeed willing to spend this much money on the game. I need to keep stressing this because it's like the number one thing that people bring up with this gacha. This gacha is a terrible deal if you're not a whale. Yeah, yeah, that's the fucking point. Guys, that's the fucking point. The fucking point of this gacha is it's a terrible deal if you're not a whale. But if you are a whale, this is a really good fucking deal. This is a whale gacha, okay? But even if you're not a whale, you can still do the first two 10 rolls and it's going to be a really good deal. Okay, now that we have all of this out of the way, now that we have all of this out of the way, let's continue with the actual fucking news, okay? Because I, I really need to get this out of the way. First off, we have a new event. It's the Tart 5 event. Yeah, it's the fucking Tart 5 event. Yeah, we're getting a Tart 5 event. Here it is. It's the Legend of Jeanne d'Arc uh, Part 5. The Inherited Souls or something like that. I don't fucking know. Uh, what do they call it? The Inheritors of Our Souls. It's probably going to be about Young Tart or Tart Sister or whatever and Young Isabo or something. Uh, here's it's a, it's a single tower, a very simple, simple single tower with some event memoria that you can get. Sure, nothing special about a single tower, to be honest. But the important part is the two event characters. Yes, two new event characters. People thought that, yeah, there's going to be one more Tart character, probably Parnell, right? They're probably just going to add Parnell and they're going to be done with it. Well, no, they're going to add two new characters because Masogitsune is fucking crazy. So the first character we're getting, and this is the gacha that is live right now, is the Isabo gacha. And by the way, I talked about the step-up gacha. Every single character in here, the Isabo and Pernell, which is going to happen soon, they're both going to have the normal gacha, and on top of that, the step-up gacha. So you have both of those running, and you can decide to just do the normal gacha. Also, I should mention, even if you are a hyper whale, you can only run the step-up gacha like the five steps once. You cannot do these five steps multiple times. So yeah, so we have Isabo right here, and you might be wondering, we already, we already had Isabo. How is, the, how is there a second Isabo? Well, this is the normal Isabo. The other one was the witch Isabo. Okay, so this, so we had witch Isabo. Now we have a magical girl Isabo. Very different. Very different. So, so what is this character like? I'm gonna be a bit faster with this one. Usually, I spend a bunch of time talking about 
uh, with these characters up, but I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit more uh, in depth with the actual review of these characters. So this is what Isabeau does. She is an Axel Charge character who I can I can tell you by the way if you're looking for just the very quick Cliff Notes version, she's a dark type Magia kind of character who spams Magia very fast and her attribute strengthened Magia. So in a way, she's kind of similar to Erika Ren or Kushu, for example, or uh, Vampire Kanagi. Very similar to those kinds of characters. So if you already have one of those characters that I just mentioned at four slots, maybe you don't need this character. But if you don't have any of those characters I just mentioned and you're like, man, I really want a Dark Magia character, this is a really good one. So what does she do? To connect is attack up, Dark Attribute attack up, and Guaranteed Curse. Is all right. Uh, the Magia is attribute strength and damage to all enemies because, of course, it is. You're supposed to be a damage dealer with Magia and doubles. It does guaranteed curse to all enemies. It does Magia damage up to self, not to all characters, because uh, Kushu also does that, but to all characters. At least I think so. And uh, it also does dark attribute attack up and survive, but all of that to self. So she's a very uh, egoistic, egotistic character, as you would expect, because she's a villain. The spirit enhancement that is highlighted here is uh, the active is curse to a single enemy, which whatever. More importantly though, MP restore to self. Then the first passive highlight here is HP regen and MP regen, so the second thing that gives MP, but it doesn't end there. The third one that is highlighted is MP gain up and light damage cut. And then we also have some double damage up and whatever. So a whole bunch of MP up on a character who is a Magia type and therefore has really high MP bonuses. And you can kind of guess that, yeah, she's she's gonna have really, really strong Magia generation, both passively and actively. Kind of like all the other characters I just mentioned, like Kushu, for example, or uh, Vamp Vampire Kanagi, who also have really strong uh, MP generation. So yeah, you, ge you generate Magia a, a really, really fast and you have this attribute strength and damage. This is a Kimochi unit, right? This is really a Kimochi unit against the light Kimochi unit, against the light Kimochi. However, she's not. I don't think she's that much stronger than all these other characters like Rikaren or Koshu against the uh, light Kimochi. But if you don't have either of them, she's extremely powerful. And if you really want to rank highly on the light Kimochi, this is a good choice, okay? But like I said, if you already have like Koshu or Rikaren at four slot and you don't really have like multiple hundred rolls lying, lying around, maybe you can skip this unit, okay? But if you really want a Dark Magia unit, Magia unit, this is such a good Dark, dark Magia unit. Really, really good. Okay, the, uh, the um, Memoria, by the way, is Attack Up. What do we have? Attack Up, Defense Up, and Chance to Curse on Attack. It's all right, it seems all right. Nothing too broken, it, it actually seems very balanced. A lot of curse on this unit, as you would expect. But we know that, like, ailments, they kind of, they kind of need some buffs, okay? Overall, pretty, pretty decent units, especially for Kimochi. Next up, the other unit that's going to happen, not right now, not right now, but on the 24th. So on the 24th, we're also getting Pernel. Yes, we're also getting a Pernel Flamel. Um, She's a void type character, which I said before. I don't. I, I didn't say it on video. I said it on the Discord. Is probably going to be void. Um, is panel. So what is she like? Basically, she should. She's Sudachi. She's basically just Sudachi. She's a void type defense character who gets a lot of MP when she gets hit. Sudachi. So let me go uh, just very quickly over this. By the way, she also has her own step up gacha that is going to happen alongside her. Um, when she actually launches on the 24th, which by the way means that there's gonna be like five or even six gachas running at the same time uh, Until the 1st of April, which is gonna be insane on the 1st of April until the 28th, I think so yeah, yeah for quite some time What is she actually like so if he's a defense type two excel two charge discs um, Her connect is defense up and damage cut and HP regen extremely fucking defensive the Magia is damage to all enemies, uh, it gives defense up, it gives damage cut, it gives barrier, also extremely fucking defensive to all allies. So yeah, an extremely fucking defensive character. The SE active is defense up and damage cut to every single character. 
I'm getting deja vu right here. But yeah, extremely defensive on all uh, allies. The uh, This one right here, the first SE active has highlighted is MP up when damaged. Extremely important. This is basically what makes Tsunachi uh, overpowered. She ba passively starts the battle with barrier, okay, and just anti-magia seal, who cares. And then the Rater Memoria is damage cut and defense up. Well, we had that before. Uh, to self for three turns. Okay, so the point is that she has a very similar function to Sudachi where you get hit. And when you get hit, you get a whole bunch of MP for the MP when hit bonus. Uh, and then you get a very fast doppel out. There's this strategy that a lot of whales are using, which is called the six hit Sudachi strat. If you're just doing the six hit Sudachi strat, then I think Panel might actually be slightly better for this exact same strat instead of Sudachi. So yeah, for exactly this strat, Panel probably is slightly better than Sudachi. However, if we're talking about any other situation, the thing is Panel doesn't have Provoke, at least it doesn't look like it. We, we, we need to take a look at her other SE notes, maybe she does have some passive Provoke in here, or Guardian or something like that, but without Provoke, she can't really do that much outside of the six hit strat because the six hit strat doesn't actually use provoke it's a strat that specifically bypasses provoke um so outside of that strat she probably won't do that much which immediately means this is a unit specifically for the six hit strat in mirrors in rank mirrors if you're not doing the six hit strat in rank mirrors she is kind of not that amazing, okay? She's kind of not that great if you're not doing the 6 hit strat in ranked mirrors. She's a highly specialized unit. You get so much damage cut and defense up, and here's the thing about damage cut and defense up, and I keep saying this on other defense units, it's kind of not that great. You kind of don't really need this. Don't roll for a defensive character if instead you could roll for an aggressive character, and you can do this right now on this exact same gacha. If instead you could draw on the aggressive character, the aggressive character is going to do so much better than the defensive character. So if all you care about is PvE, Isa Boy is probably going to be better. But like I said, specifically for the six hit strat in ranked mirrors, and if you don't know what the six hit strat is, it's probably not for you anyway. Um, but that's, uh, that's basically what I have to say about these two units. One is spe specifically for Kimochi, but just generally a good Magia character for Dark Type. And the other one is specifically for Ranked Mirrors. And outside of that, it's kind of eh. But generally, I do like that we're getting two units instead of just one unit. Because most people thought we're getting just Panel, but no, we're getting Panel and Isabo normal version. So, isn't that fucking good? That said, this was this. That was a long fucking video because there was so much going on here. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.